All right, in this uh, video example, we're going to convert between radians and degrees, and then also between degrees and radians. And right away, you see I put a little asterisk up here. So when we have a number, let's do an example here. If I have a number that says 23, um, you probably automatically think it's degrees because there's no pi next to it. It is not a degree unless it has a degree symbol. So that's what makes it degrees. If it was just a 23 without a degree symbol, it would be considered radians. Okay, So you got to note that it's got to have a degree symbol in order for it to be a degree. All right, so um, there's formulas in your text. You are more than welcome to use formulas. I do not use formulas because I don't want to memorize them. This is how I convert. So I recall that in the circle, when I start here at 0 and go uh, counterclockwise, over here on this side is pi, which is equivalent to 180 degrees. Those two things mean the same thing. So I use a proportion. So I can say that pi is to 180, which means the same thing as x, I'm going to just say x radians, because pi is radians, over y degrees. Um, so I just always use a proportion. And let me show, do an example and show you how it works. And the reason I use a proportion is, first of all, I don't have to memorize the formula. And secondly, if I set it, the way I set it up is I don't ever have to divide. I just multiply. So I always start with my unknown. Start with my unknown. So in other words, that's going to go on the top. So let's convert. Here we've got a pi over 5, and we want to convert this to degrees. Okay, so uh, I'm going to start with my unknown, so I don't know my degrees. And you can use x or y for either one. It doesn't make any difference. So I could say y degrees is 2 pi over 5, because that's what I know, and that's in radians, and feel free to put the units on there, that might help you, equals, well since degrees on the top, I got to have my 180 degrees on the top, and I have to have my pi radians on the bottom. So how is this a proportion? This is, uh, the y is what I'm solving for, so y in degrees is equal to pi over 5 in radians. We want those to be the same things. This is the same as the ratio or the proportion of 180 degrees is to pi because those two things are equivalent. And then to solve this, you are just going to multiply both sides by pi over 5. Okay. Or you could think of it as pi over 5 over 1. And I'm multiplying by pi over 5 because that's in my denominator. All right, so I'm going to move over here. So y is equal to 180 times pi over 5 all over pi. And we can just cancel some stuff out. This pi cancels with this pi. And 180 divided by 5 is... 36 degrees. So somewhere over here in quadrant 1, if this was the unit circle, the arc length would be pi over 5. The angle measure, I'm going to put a little theta right there, the angle measure would be 36 degrees. Those things are equivalent. Let's do a new example. Make that one bigger. All right, so let's convert um, 42 degrees, convert to radians. So let's start with what we don't know. X radians is to 42 degrees. This is equal to pi radians. See how that goes on the top? Because I have both radians on the top, is to 180 degrees. Multiply both sides by 42 degrees. So I'm going to get 
shift colors back. I'm going to get x equals 42 pi over 180. And now I could do a couple things. I could just type that in my calculator um, and get a decimal, or um, I could reduce 42 over 180, and that's what I'm going to choose to do right now. So I'm going to end up with 7 pi over 30. And this is radians. Okay, let's do another example. Convert 4 to whoops, degrees. See, 4 doesn't have a little degree symbol up there, so it must be considered radians. Okay, so degree is unknown, so x degrees is to 4 radians as pi, oops, oops, got that backwards, as 180 degrees, there we go, is to pi radians. Multiply both sides by 4, and so I'm left here with x is 4 times 180 over pi, and multiplying all that out using my pi button, I'm going to get 229.2 degrees. Okay. All right, let's do another one, another example. All right, so here I've got 32 degrees, 30 minutes. There's our little minute symbol. And we want to convert that to radians. All right, let's make a side trip. So you know that you've got, or maybe recall, that um, uh, you've got degrees, and then subdividing degrees gives you minutes, and subdividing minutes gives you seconds. Not unlike a clock where you've got hours, minutes, and seconds. Very, very similar. So. Uh, we also know that we have 60 minutes in one, let's make that be an equal sign, 60 minutes equals one degree, so one degree equals 60 minutes, and then also we know that 60 seconds gives us one minute, so one minute is equivalent to 60, and we use two of those little marks up there for minutes. Okay. So in this example, let's go back to this example a minute, I've got 32 degrees and 30 minutes. So the, you can take the 30 minute part and you can think of that as 30 sixtieth degrees. Okay, that means the same thing. And 30 divided by 60, this is a nice number, and this is 1 half, um, or 0.5. So you could rewrite the problem and just say this is 32.5 degrees. Um, and if this, if 30 minutes was uh, like 29, you would do the same thing, 29 divided by 60. So now we've got degrees as 32.5. We want to convert that to radians. So x radians is to 32.5 degrees as pi radians is to 180 degrees, multiplying both sides by 32.5. is going to be, let's see, let me work that out, leaving it in terms of pi, you end up with 65 pi over 360, and this is radians 
Um, and you could convert that to a decimal if the problem asked. All right, so there's several examples of converting back and forth between degrees and radians and radians and degrees.